Hello, my name is Lorab Payton, and today we are at the Curtis Hall in the Fine Arts Building, downtown Chicago. In honor of Black History Month and WFMT's ongoing commitment to programming music by composers often historically excluded from classical spaces, today's presentation of cello and piano music by black composers will feature compositions by Florence Price, Nathaniel Dett, and Anthony R. Green. We're joined by two of Chicago's own musical prodigies, if I do say so myself, Joshua Moon and Ifetayo Ali Landing. Joshua? Hello, my name is Joshua August Moon. Uh, I'm, I'm a lifetime Chicagoan. I was currently a senior in high school at Whitney Young, uh, as well as a senior at the Merritt School of Music Conservatory, and a Lung Lung Young Scholar, as well as an international music ambassador, and I am a pianist, most importantly. My name is Ife Tayo Ali Landing. I am a sophomore at the Colburn School in Los Angeles. I'm a cellist and I'm also from Chicago. Awesome, thank you guys so much for joining us today. And as far as I know, you two already know each other. Um, so tell me a little bit about how you met. So I was like seven or something like that. It's very young, but what I think happened is I met you at the DePaul competition, the winter concert, and one of us was playing I remember your dad talking to my mom, and I'm just standing there like, can we please go home? And then I'm, that was the day I met you, and we just started working together after that. We've got a really exciting program today. Um, it includes an arrangement of Lift Every Voice and Sing that was dedicated to one of our performers. Um, and this next piece by Florence Price is an arrangement of three spirituals. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child, oh, holy Lord, and Lord, I want to be a Christian are familiar tunes to me, but did you both grow up hearing these tunes? I personally did not have much experience. Even though my dad was played gospel around the house, uh, obviously I'm familiar with, sometimes I feel like a motherless child, but I was not familiar up until Ife proposed this music with these other tunes. Yeah, I am not familiar with these pieces uh, prior to learning them. But it's funny, like as soon as I started learning them, I started hearing them on the radio everywhere. They're the most beautiful pieces. This is Three Spirituals for Cello and Piano, arranged by Florence B. Price. Thank you. 
You've just heard Florence Price's Three Spirituals for Cello and Piano, played by Joshua Moon and Ifetayo Ali Landing. Ifetayo Ali Landing is one of the leading young players of today. She began studying very early on violin until she switched to cello at only four years old. Ifetayo has performed as a soloist with some of the best orchestras there are, including our very own Chicago Symphony Orchestra. She's even appeared as a soloist on WFMT's Introductions, and she's given her very own TED Talk. She is the 2017 winner of the Sphinx Competition's Junior Division and has since made appearances on television like performing with singer Jesse J and the Matt Jones Orchestra. She is currently a sophomore at the Colburn School of Los Angeles. Ife, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Today we are featuring cello and piano music composed by black composers. And we've just heard Florence Price's arrangement of three spirituals. So why do you think it's important that we highlight these contributions by black composers? I think that they should have been not even highlighted. They should have just been a normal thing this entire time. But since that didn't happen, now it's important for us to realize that black classical musicians have been around for ever. They're not new. And it's important for us to now hear these pieces. And especially Florence Price, she was the first black woman to have her piece played by an American orchestra, Chicago Symphony Orchestra, yay Chicago. And that's huge, because that was not that long ago. So this next piece that you're playing is exciting and rare when we think of usual classical solo cello repertoire. Tell me a little bit about how you discovered Coleridge Taylor Perkinson and what's special about this piece? I don't even really remember how I discovered this piece or even Coleridge Taylor Perkinson, but his life is really interesting. He was actually named after Samuel Coleridge Taylor. You can't get them confused um, because his mother was a musician. His music is amazing. This piece, um, I'm playing Lamentations, which is subtitled The Black Folk Song Suite. It is a lot, but it is super fun. This is Movement 4, or Perpetual Motions, from Coleridge Taylor Perkinson's Lamentations, or Black Folk Song Suite for Cello. <laughs> Thank you. 
We've just heard Coleridge Taylor Perkinson's Lamentations or Black Folk Song Suite for Cello, Movement Four, Perpetual Motions, played by Ifetayo Ali Landing. Joshua Moon is a senior at Whitney Young Magnet High School here in Chicago, but has already traveled the world playing piano and being mentored by world-renowned players like pianist Long Long and clarinetist Anthony McGill. He's made repeat appearances performing on ABC Chicago's Windy City Live, and he first appeared on WFMT's Introductions at age 12, and is due to appear again this coming May. Joshua has played for the inauguration of Chicago's current mayor, Lori Lightfoot, a historic event with thousands of viewers, both on television and live in the Wintrust Arena. Joshua Moon is a member of Mensa International, the most well-known high IQ society in the world. Joshua, thank you so much for joining us today. It is my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Uh, Josh, one of the pieces that you're playing for us today is an arrangement of Lift Every Voice and Sing, also known as the Negro National Anthem, by Robert Irving III, another accomplished black pianist and composer. You mentioned that he dedicated this arrangement to you. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, so in, I think, February of 2020, right around the time where COVID was really getting getting bad and the Black Lives Matter uh, protests started happening, I asked Robert Irving III, or Bobby Irving, uh, who's also a teacher of mine, to arrange Lift Every Voice and Sing for solo piano because it's a song that I've played with, with choirs and I've sung in a choir, but it was a song that I thought should be written solely for, for piano as well. And um, the result was, was fantastic. I instantly loved the piece, and it still is this year, but it was just as important last year to sort of honor uh, the Black Lives Lost in America um, from racial injustices, but also just from COVID and everything that's, that's going on and that has ever gone on. So it's a, it's a piece that was written to honor all people, but especially black people. And you've traveled the world playing Beethoven, Rachmaninoff, and Liszt, but today you're taking another moment to highlight the music of Nathaniel Dett, a black Canadian composer known for infusing the romantic style of the 19th century, black folk songs, and spiritual melodies. When were you first drawn to Dett? Well, actually, my first piano teacher introduced me to a lot of black composers, but Nathaniel Dett was especially important to him as well as to me um, because uh, I was in a competition, uh, the Grand Quest piano competition, and there's, you know, for competitions, there's sort of like a standard set of repertoire that you're supposed to play, sort of as a youngin, um, and everybody played these Scarlatti's or, or Mozart's or Beethoven's, 
and I came in and played this Nathaniel Dett piece, the same one that I'm playing today, and I won, but also we heard from all the parents afterwards of, they asked me, what, what is that piece, what is that piece? It's a really beautiful piece, as you guys will hear. Well, I'm really looking forward to hearing these pieces. This is the first movement of Cinnamon Grove by Nathaniel Dett, and an arrangement of Lift Every Voice and Sing by Robert Irving III.
We've just heard an arrangement of Lift Every Voice and Sing by Robert Irving III, and before that, the first movement of Cinnamon Grove by Nathaniel Dett, played by Joshua Moon. Joshua and Ife Tayo, I can imagine as young black musicians, there's a lot of pressure for you to present yourselves in a certain way or even to play certain repertoire that's more accessible for white audiences. How do you show up your full selves in classical spaces? My parents always engraved in my head from a young age to, to be the best that I can. I'm able to work to be the best person I can be or the best player I can be. So it's not much of a change for me to, to go into different environments um, outside of my home and, and be the same person that I am. For me, um, I had to learn this growing up not to change myself or not to kind of code switch as I went into different spaces. But kind of once I got into my head that they are going to accept me or they're not going to have me at all, I just started showing up and I was going to be as loud as I wanted to be. I'm going to wear whatever I wanted to wear. I cut my hair off. I, I just, I don't care about what they have to say because either you're going to take all of me or none of me. This next piece that you're playing on top of a frosted hill was composed in 2011 by Anthony R. Green, who himself has been an educator and lecturer on the history and politics concerning black classical music composers and musicians. How did you both come to know this composer? Well, I actually found out about him maybe a couple months ago. Uh, the website Cello Bello has a list of pieces for cello and piano by black composers. And I was going down that list and I heard this piece and I was like, this piece is wonderful. It's weird, but it's also beautiful. It has a little bit of everything. So I searched up the composer, Anthony R. Green, and I found him on Instagram and I was like, hey, I really want to play your piece. Can I have the sheet music? And he was like, please. I mean, oh, he's just amazing. He has done some amazing things. When he like writes a piece, he kind of puts ideas of like freedom and equality and anything you can think of into his music. And I absolutely love that. And I discovered him when Ife handed me the score. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that I found most interesting about this particular piece was that a lot of the music is kind of spatial, and then there are a few instances where he inserts familiar melodies. And I think one of the things that I, I hear in this piece uh, is, yes, Jesus loves me, that, that very familiar tune that we all know. Um, so for you, what, what are some things about this piece that you would like the audience to know or listen out for? It's a dense piece. It's, it's a really interesting piece, and there's a lot of... Um allusions to, to other things, sort of early 20th century um, classical ideas as well. Um, like in the first piano solo, I, I, I don't even know if he meant to do this or if it's as written, but what I imagine sometimes is sort of from Petrushka um, in the second movement. Well, of course, all of the gospel melodies and familiar melodies he puts in the piece, as well as um, you should listen to his earlier pieces because he wrote one for flute and piano that is very similar to this one with like a few changes. But of course, this one is amazing. Thank you so much for presenting this beautiful recital today. Joshua Moon and Ife Tayo Ali Landing playing their final piece for us today. This is On Top of Frosted Hill by Anthony R. Green.
We've just heard On Top of a Frosted Hill by Anthony R. Green. Thank you so much to Ifetayo Ali Landing and Joshua Moon for this beautiful recital today of cello and piano music by black composers on classical WFMT. I'd like to personally thank Robbie Ellis, who is our producer, Mary Mazurik, who is our audio engineer, Keegan Morris, our video producer, Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestras, and Katie Ferris for the use of the Curtis Hall in the Fine Arts Building in downtown Chicago. I'm Lerat Payton, and have a wonderful evening. <laughs>